In the last lecture, we saw the commutative, associative, distributive and delta function properties of convolution. Now in this presentation, which is part 2 of properties of convolution, we will discuss the 5th and 6th properties. So let's start our discussion with the 5th property of convolution. The 5th property is the property of derivative, property of derivative. In this property, we will understand what will happen when we will find out the first derivative of the output of an LTI system, which is equal to convolution of the input and the impulse response. Let's say the impulse response of the LTI system is HT and the input is XT. Now, after convoluting them, we will get the output of the LTI system YT. Now we are interested in calculating the first derivative of the output yt. This means dyt over dt. On the right hand side we will have d xt convolution ht over dt. Now in the right hand side we will have two different results which will give us the same dyt by dt. The first result is xt convolution with d ht by dt and the same result you will get when you convolute d xt by dt with ht. So to find out the derivative of the output of an LTI system you have two options either you can differentiate the impulse response and then convolute it with the input or you can differentiate the input and then convolute it with the impulse response. This is the first way and this is the second way. Now we will solve one example to implement this property. In this example, the output yt is equal to rt convolution ut where rt is the input to the LTI system and ut is the impulse response. We will use this property. We want d y t over d t and we will calculate the answer using method number one as well as method number two. So first we will use the method number one. We will have r t convolution with d u t over d t. Now the derivative of unit step signal is equal to the unit impulse signal so we will have rt convolution with delta t now if you remember the last lecture in the fourth property we saw if there is signal xt convoluted with delta t then we will have xt itself so here rt is convoluted with delta t so this will give us rt as the value of dyt by dt so the ramp signal which is the unit ramp signal is our answer so when you differentiate yt with respect to t one time you will get the ramp signal now we will solve the same problem using the method number two and in method number two we will differentiate the input and then we will convolute it with the impulse response so d yt over dt is equal to differentiation of the ramp signal unit ramp signal and then convolution with the unit step signal differentiation of ramp signal one time will give us the unit step signal so we have convolution of unit step signal with unit step signal and this will give us ramp signal so using the method number two we have obtained the same answer that is the ram signal and i know it is confusing to understand how we have obtained the ram signal after convoluting unit step signal with unit step signal i will explain this after explaining the property number six the property number six so let's move to our property number six in the property number six we will have the integration as well as the differentiation and we already know when we perform the differentiation and we perform the integration again we will have the same signal for example 
if there is a signal yt and we have calculated the derivative of this signal and after calculating the derivative if we again calculate the integral of the derivative it will give us the same signal yt now the property number six is input signal xt convolution with the impulse response ut if the impulse response ht is equal to ut then it is equal to integration from minus infinity to t x tau d tau and this is the output of the LTI system. So this is the property number 6 and I have explained this important point before writing the property number 6 because in the proof of property number 6 this is required. We have output yt equal to xt convolution with ut and we will find out the derivative of yt. We will have dyt over dt from property number 5 we can write xt convolution with d u t over dt we can use the property number 5 and we can write dyt over dt equal to xt convolution d u t by dt now we will simplify this xt convolution with delta t the derivative of u t that is the unit step signal one time gives us the unit impulse signal. So xt convolution with delta t is equal to dyt over dt. Now we will find out the integration of dyt over dt. So integration minus infinity to t dy tau. We will use a dummy variable to eliminate the confusion between this t and the variable we are using. So dy tau by d tau is equal to integration minus infinity to t x tau convolution delta tau and if you remember the last lecture we saw this property xt convolution with delta t is equal to xt so x tau convolution with delta tau is equal to x tau so on the left hand side we will have yt itself we can say this because we are performing the derivative and then we are performing the integration and when you perform the integration of derivative of the signal then you will get the signal itself so on the left hand side we will have yt and it is equal to integration minus infinity integration minus infinity to t x tau d tau here we will have d tau here also we will have d tau so you can see we have proved the property number six and now we will use this property to solve one example in this example signal yt is equal to rt convolution with ut and from the property you can see convolution of xt with ut is equal to integration minus infinity to t x tau d tau so here in place of xt we have rt so yt will be equal to integration minus infinity to t r tau d tau and the integration of unit ramp signal is equal to parabolic signal so we will have pt as the answer or you can write t square over 2 ut so this is the answer and now we will try to obtain this result using the property number 6 we have ut convolution with ut and from here you can see xt is equal to ut so this will be equal to integration minus infinity to t u tau d tau and integration of unit step signal is equal to ramp signal so we have obtained the same result using the property number six so remember the two properties they are very important you can use them to find out the answer of the given question very quickly so this is all for this lecture if you have any doubt you may ask in the comment section